What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Faley McWhaley. And today, I'm here with the last set of episodes for The Inbetweeners. Season 3, Episodes 5 in the Season 3 finale, in the series finale for the show. Short-lived show, and yeah, let's just see the route they decide to go. Let's see where they decide to wrap things up. I do know that there is two films. Maybe down the line we'll see them, but uh, I'm really going to be focusing on the fall shows and the new plans. And maybe we can throw those in in some free time later in, 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 the, in the new future to future. But that being said, we have Jay, we have Neil, we have Simon, and we have Will the Headass. So let's see how this is going to go. If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to need you, if you ever liked the Inbetweeners one episode, if you ever enjoyed it, to some capacity, whether it was the very beginning or anywhere towards the end or the middle, uh, just... One last time, patron fam. One last time, YouTube people. Can we just smack that baby? Thank you very much. With that being said, let's see what we got. Oh, boy. There's whiskey in this one. Yeet. With his parents gone, Jay did what pretty much every male human does when they think they might get five minutes alone in the house. Oh, great. Dead arm gang. What the fuck are we doing here, buddy? Fucking hell, Benji. Why don't you just shut him out of the room? Well, I tried that because- You're playing Wii? Scratches his- Hi, Mrs. McKenzie. Hello. I love my Wii. Right. I see you're enjoying Will's new WII. It's called a Wii. It's pretty neat, isn't it? It's the only computer game I've ever been able to play. I still can't believe she's called it yeah. WII. That's mod. We were friends at college and we've just recently caught up again on Facebooks. You're going away with a Facebook Facebooks? Stalker. <laughs> no, let's talk about it now, in front of everyone. I've got nothing to hide, have you? Well, try and stay calm. For the record, it was Morty an allergy. Face. It wasn't Teddy's fault. <laughs> I'm almost certain with the really big Justin Rowland and, and Dan Harmon based Mike, Morty's face off of it. <laughs> what a dick. Why do that? Thank it's you, Simon. Thank you. Cool. you know what golf stands for? No. What? Gay outdoor lifestyle with fellas. <laughs> oh, mate, that is too perfect. Nice. Sunflowers are about to get fucked up. So while the other <laughs> Okay, that's a funny quote. <laughs> Sunflowers about to get bad fucked enough. up. I'm not going to be one of these idiots who advertise a small gathering on Facebook, then 4,000 people turn up, the roof gets stolen, and the next morning they're on the news saying things just got out of hand. So, I've actually had experience like that myself. It wasn't a party. It was an exam for third year un or third or second year university. It was an online media exam. And my one boy's like, yo, why don't we all just do it together? And I'm like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Jacob. If you see this video, Jacob, I'm blaming you. It was supposed to be three of us in my, in my living room doing the exam together. Tell me how fucking 24 people roll up into my small ass living room. And sooner or later, we we're, were everywhere in my house and we did this exam. And we all got a fucking 50. If people say come over to, to, to that throw party or do an online exam, don't do it because things will get out of hand. That's my rant. I'm sorry. I'm a little up on the T right now, but it's also something I just remembered. I mean, they also did curve the exam, so I think I ended up with like a B plus or something or a B, but anyway. Mackenzie. No. Did you just say your mother is internet dating? Okay. Maybe you could set me up with her and then who knows? If things go well, you could end up calling me daddy. What kind of morons would do that? I think you know exactly who did it. What? I don't know, sir. You can't uh -oh. resist getting that beak of yours into other people's business. Is he beak? snitching? Yes, your beaky nose. You've got till Monday to find out, or it's goodbye first-rate education. Hello, the University of Lincoln. This was serious. I'd been to Lincoln, and it's a shithole. What did Gilbert want, then? He thinks I know who vandalised the roundabout. Maybe you do. Oh, <laughs> It was you two, wasn't it? I hate it? Neil, but I, I love remember. him. How come he can fucking stay in our calm? Well, mainly because he's not planning to ejaculate over my mother's underwear. I ain't promising nothing. Bridge is full, but if you need anything else, the Ocado account number's by the computer. You're only going to be away for one night, aren't you? Probably. I've left the heating on constant just in case you get cold, and don't forget Mrs. Springett's got a key, so migraines. If that does happen, there are special suppositories in the bathroom cabinet. Mum? It's the only thing that works. He's usually a bit sick. It's not for like Neil knows where that's going to be. In where? Well, they are suppositories, so in his bottom. Mum? Fine, come on then, Neil. Let's run through a few house rules. Nothing too crazy, just... Shotgun your mum's bed. Right. Fucking hell, Benji. What a cutie, though, honestly. Back at mine, I was fighting a losing battle to... Will, what's this pesto? Is it for humans? No, it's for extraterrestrials. <laughs> That's why I keep it in the fridge. Of course it's for fucking humans. I think he might have chewed on a tissue under my bed, and now he's got a taste for it. 
Jesus, that's some acquired taste. Dry Kleenex and your ejaculate. Hey, RJ. Cheers. Can drinks or toast policy? Well, there's no fucking glasses. Try the dishwasher. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Right, we're going out. Out where? I don't care. Outside, out of here. And it was pretty much everything I dreamed it would be. Oh, bitch, get out the way. 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 The way. You know what? I actually haven't thought about it until right now, this very second. I don't think I have very much evidence to support this, but just based off of just my own, I guess, thoughts or experiences, kind of. Um, I don't think these guys would be friends after high school. Granted, the movie's probably going to be with them and et cetera, et cetera, after high school because they're ending now, but um, I don't feel like they would be, like, once they get to university or, or college or working, whatever it may be, I feel like they just sort of drift apart. We've been driving, it's been a leak. Am I capping or no cap? Let me know. Watch that squirrel, Jay. No, oh, shit himself and jump out of the way. They always do. Ah, hilarious! You just lost a game of chicken with a rodent. He's still there. He's mugging you off, mate. Yeah, we'll see who's the chicken. No. Oh, my God, he's jumped out of the way. He's made you look alright, mug. Oh, fuck this. Oh, God. I want to make you look a mug, Jay. Fucking little piss taker. I'll get a spade, we'll bury him. Nah, fuck him! So, so far in Jay and Neil's war against Mother Nature, the death toll stood at 52 flowers and one piss taking squirrel. Eventually, Jay is and with the such an ass. Who's that? Jay started a party. For Hello. Pizza? This is for Polly Milf oh, Kenzie. Dears. <laughs> what did you do? What? Nothing. We haven't done anything, have we, Sawyer? No. We haven't been anywhere uh, near your Facebook page. Oh, for fuck's sake, what have you done? Word two? Yep. Do you like the picture? I mean, the knob's a bit big, but other than that, it's definitely you. See. All right, you can fucking stay. Now, what's the password? I heart. I heart. My mum's vagina. <laughs> Brilliant. Pedigree chap. Well, he's right, it's definitely blocked. And the party begins. Also, I didn't know you could just deliver beers. That's pretty cool. It's exactly what we've been looking for. <laughs> oh, sorry, was fuck off. Oh yes, nice. I'm surprised. Obviously, it's a show, but no, back every day, there's no they? way people in real life would be able to tolerate each other, even cost. if they're all no, they're not very popular. Place, rats. Have back. Someone's replanted. Oh, come on, Will. It is a laugh. What would my mum say if she found out I was involved? And here I thought Simon was going to sort of space himself away. Yep. Principal. <laughs> I reckon it'll smash the fuck out of it, Neil. <laughs> nice. I might have to borrow it and head over to that bloke's place when the flowers are grown back. Simon's oh, crazy come eyes. On, Neil, give the fat old shit one day off. Will's mum's vibrator. That's a rolling pin. Oh, I still got the smell. It's oh. a rolling pin. But that's something. No, Neil's gonna be wanking in there. Yeah. Found these in the wash basket. <laughs> oh yes, they still got that lovely arsey smell. Game of Pro Evo and shots for the loser. There's so many yikes. The yikes the meters. next morning, we were woken by a terrible banging. Out of order. Jay was having the most aggressive Since episode one. Who is it? It's the bloke whose garden we destroyed. What, the fat old shit? Yes, except he's not fat. He looks fucking hard. I've got to get to gold to try the back door. So? What if Neil's left it open again? Oh, shit! Neil, get down! What? Hey! Fuck's all the noise! We're under attack from the daffodil bloke. What? You're basically correct. We're being threatened. Mrs. Springett. I know you're in there. I saw your mate. Come on, do some vandalism now, then. See, I told you. I've got a really bad hangover, so if you aren't willing to have a sensible conversation, I'm just going to shut the curtains. Are you take it to stop me. I'm closing them now. You think I give a fuck? About to close. You're a bunch Closing. of fucking vandals, and I call Closing. the police, but I want to deal with you myself. And they're... You're all right, mate. What's up? Dog dad. Just got a text from my dad. He's had Benji put down. And we are on to the final episode of the Inbetweenies. That was the penultimate. And this is a finale. Let's see if any of the themes will carry on. I don't know what's going on here. I actually got sliced up. Don't even know how. But I'm feeling extra HD than normal. I'm not complaining. 
We've been waiting for you, Simon. Sorry, His brother looks guilty as hell. You know. But it means moving to Swansea. Where's that? Ooh. Is it far? It's in Wales. Me and Jay will get a flat, and Andrew can come live with us. My thanks. Boys, I promise. You've effectively ended my life. In fact, why not go the whole hog and just shoot me? He's a total selfish wanker. I don't understand why he doesn't just get another job. I think I'm going to be a dad. Neil, you have to fuck a girl for that to happen. I know, I did it with his bird from Asda and now she's pregnant. Congratulations. Are you serious? No Word? fucking way. So you're not a virgin anymore? Let's back up 30 seconds. This is very serious. I have a couple yes? of questions, Neil. Yeah? Well, what does it feel like? Then in a bit, then my legs ate, then out again, then back in, and then it went off and now she's pregnant. What I think you should do is turn around, get out of my office, and we'll pretend this conversation never happened. All right, cheers for that. What about the oath? Goodbye, Mackenzie. They say wow. the art of teaching is aiding discovery. Wow. And Mr. Gilbert had helped me discover that he was a wanker. Wait, two minutes. Here I thought he was gonna help him out. My mom just Damn. talked about you moving. I suppose I just always thought that we might you know, we might... Make love? Was it make love? Carly! Make love? Oh my god. Where's oh my, my god. fucking change? Oh my god, Simon, you, you. dipshit. So Ugh. Finally, Simon I don't even know why I said dipshit. Right. I haven't used that word since I was like five. The girls, just the four of us, the lads, a tent and a load of beers. <laughs> Sounds like a big lads. version of Brokeback Mountain. Is this like a posho's tradition? Did your mates do the same thing for you when you left Hogwarts? Um, no, <laughs> All right. Well, I'm up for it. It did me a lot of good to get away for a bit, you know, Anne. I've got two weeks left here, and I'd rather spend them trying to finally get together with Carly than hanging around with you lot, talking shit about cows and fucking camping. Imagine you leave, <laughs> yes. and you'd rather not hang no. out with your boys. Man, you were right. Mod. I'm going in. This might be my last chance to see her. Oh to my kiss lord, her. Jesus Christ. Maybe make love to her. Right, Jesus fine, Christ, this is so sad. I promise never to say make love again. Simon, please! Buddy, what are you doing? Christ. I had so many hopes for you earlier. It's me, Simon. Daddy. No. Are you my mommy? Here, breaking here in watch. and yeah. uh, breaking and entering, actually. No, no need to press I've been Googling chemical castration all morning. Well, I think you need to forget about her for a while. You... As we get in near, I thought I should run through oh, the weekend. Oh, they got Oh, Jesus Christ, it stinks. Is it near a pig farm now? No, all your windows are open. I mean, up. What? Oh. Just hold it in. I can't. I get... The last thing you want to do is go camping with people or friends who aren't on the same page. Oh my god. I remember me and my buddies wanted to go camping uh, a little while ago. And then, like, they were trying to do some some next level, you know, camping, hiking, you know, three hours away from any any sort of contact with people or, or a camp. Um, or And you, you, they were like, let's get military, you know, packs and to, to, for our food and water purifiers. I don't know if you, if you guys can tell about me from the videos, but... I don't fuck with that kind of shit. I need my water. I'll get the same level of enjoyment from the base being a 30 minute walk instead of a four hour. No difference to me if it's the same view and experience. Um, but yeah, just, <laughs> oh God. Remember, fire is an element. It must be respected. Camping is all about self. Oh, my picnic basket. I've only said look for stuff to burn. What? Burn fucking wood, not my stuff. What are you doing? The fire's going down. Stop burning my things. Oh, mm. right, I forgot. Jeez. The thought of leaving you is making me cry. Better. And I'm using those tears as lube to wank with. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't worry, Si. I... Right then, Si, what did you send to, I presume, Neil's dad? Uh, you presume wrong. I've gone for a slightly different flavor. I've written to the soon-to-be mother of his child. Oh, what? At least that's who I guess saucy as to. I love you, and love that you are to be the mother of my child. Marry me? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I mean, should we go back? Oh, no, come on. We could go for a swim, skinny dipping. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Probably. Playing with a hotel. That's 1,500 quid, you owe me top hat. Can I pay you after I pass go? I'm nearly there. Nope. Well, what are you doing oh, on my properties, then? Oh, God, peace. Right, sorted. Now, you owe me 1,500 quid. Jay, my fucking car! This is the countryside! Why aren't there any fucking rocks? What are we going to smash the window with? Yeah, Simon has a clear face. anger issue. Kit, it's inevitable that the car's going to go in the lake. I suppose it's nature. You can't fight nature. Exactly. It's going in anyway. My arms hurt. We'll let go after three, all right? Gotcha. One, I can't. I can't. Two. I can't. I can't. I really can't. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's my 
Ponzi. I fucking hate you. Fuck off. Fuck off. Come on, Sai. Come on. Oh my god. Shit, I did have the keys. Uh... Mention it. So Simon. Sh you dopey prick. Not pregnant. Tested positive for. What's that say, Will? Chlamydia. Yes, get in. Brilliant. Should we go to bed then? What did I say? Simon was never this cagey. When it came to Carly, he normally wore his heart on his sleeve. You are dad? You're not gonna be a dad, remember, Neil? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll probably still give you one anyway. <laughs> Look from you lot. Jesus, that stinks, Neil. Is that a fart? No, I burp. It ain't great, though. I think it's some sausages. Whatever, good night. Oh, I think I'm gonna yak all over the lads. Thanks, though, Neil. Oh, it always makes you puke. Don't puke in here. Oh, no. Oh, you have. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hop in. Great. That was fucking disgusting. I'd like to drop your mum's stuff. Oh, we can't. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> And that was the in-betweeners, y'all. Season 3, episode 5, and season 3, episode 6, the finale for the series. I'll say that, you know what? I appreciated at least some of the, I guess, serious elements that they're trying to go for. But again, they've been on this wave, especially the past few episodes, where they're just, like, showing them being just the absolute fucking worst because they are. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't even know how to, how to really say anything about that ending. Because it didn't really feel like ending. But I don't know if the behind the scenes of like they just ended abruptly or whatever it is. I don't even know how this show got made, to be honest. But uh, there were some definitely there were good laughs. Shocking laughs, especially throughout the series. I even like some of the story beats they did earlier on amidst all the nonsense and fuck shit that these guys are doing. Being said, y'all, I'm going to keep this one real abrupt. That was the Inbetweeners Season 3, Episode 5, and Season 3, Episode 6. Shout out to the Discord is how this is going. This was a random series that sort of just came to fruition. If you guys enjoyed some of the reactions and crazy shit that was going down here, in case it's abundantly clear, I do not. These are terrible, terrible people. And that was the show. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. With that being said, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.